All right, you know what happens, right? Temptation says no one will know. Uh, when temptation says, you know, it, it's just you, and, and, and as long as you don't hurt anybody. And, and again, I want to just say the fighting words I want to give you today are that that is a lie. What we do always affects other people, hopefully for the better, but sometimes for for worse. Something sometimes it's disastrous. Sometimes it's destructive, and it burns people down. You know how they say in Las Vegas, right? Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It never does. You take that with you wherever you go, right? So that person that you did that with, um, regardless of what it was, um, is going to affect them, and it's going to affect you, and then it's going to affect everybody that that all of you are associated with. Okay? You don't believe me? Look at Proverbs 7. Uh, We were in verse 25 yesterday. We're going to be in 26 today. It says, again, this, this temptress... All right, she's trying to pull us in. And it says, many a victim she has laid low. They're victims, right? They're not, they're not people that she loves. They're not uh, they're people that she hoped, hoped, hoped to help. Or, you know, No, they're victims. And there's many of them. And it says, all her slain are a mighty throng. So there's a lot of them. Like, like you begin to lose count. So, so it's not just that you're the one who's going to conquer this. Because it ain't going to happen. See, the reality is that Jesus has already conquered all of those things for us. We can stand in his victory. I know that sounds impossible. Like, how could I do that? But, but again, I, I, I'm going to pull away the, the curtain from all of this. And, and that's what God's word does. It says, look, the world's going to sugarcoat it like, oh, it's this awesome thing. But, but you know what? When you, when you pull things back, it's ugly. Sin is ugly. Lust is ugly. Greed is ugly. Temptation and all of that is ugly. And God is saying you don't have to say yes. You are no longer a slave to sin. Right, one of my favorite songs, right, Christian songs, is that has those words. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I am what? A child of God. No longer having to follow the whims of the devil and of my own like weaknesses. Because I'm God's child. That, that, that's, a, that's a great fighting word for you to have. To say to yourself today, I am a child of God. Temptation comes your way. That, that person cuts you off in traffic. You know, and, and the world would say, you need to give them, you need to honk your horn and you need to get angry. No. That anger is not going to bring about what God wants. You're a child of God. You're loved by Him. And imagine if that person, who's probably got their own deal, at their own problems, what if they through you experienced mercy and love, right? And, and that person that's hurting, that person that wants to make you feel as bad as they do, like, like maybe you listen and maybe you hear what's going on and maybe you're able to share this truth that God loves them, that God is, is with them. There's hope through what they're going through. You've got hope through what you're going through. It's Him and His love for you. And, and I pray that you just Grab those fighting words. It's another weapon that you've got, another shield, another protection uh, in this war that we're in. Because God wants us to know He's already won it in Jesus. So, so just embrace His victory over sin, over death, over the grave for you. We'll talk to you next time.